So Nvidia have recently released a driver update for their GeForce RTX graphics cards which enables a new setting called DLSF which should give you a, a good jump in FPS or frames per second within games like Warzone. Now Warzone has also recently just been updated to enable this new setting within the options. So I'm going to do a very quick test to show you difference in FPS with this setting disabled and then enabled on the three sort of most popular resolutions of 4K, um, 1440p and 1080p. So I've just gone into the, the plunder sort of training area just to show you what you get. Starting with 4K, this is, if you go into the options, graphics options, so I've got everything set to default and by default the DLSS setting here which it says uses AI super resolution to provide the highest possible frame rates at maximum graphics settings. DLSS requires an NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card, but by default this is disabled. So on my machine, running as normal with everything set to, to default in 4K, I'm getting around 65 to 70 frames per second on this test area. It looks good, it's pretty smooth, sort of above 60 frames per second is fine, fine for most people. But I do know sort of more competitive players want as many frames per second as they can possibly get. If you've got like a monitor that can do 120 or 144 or even 240 frames per second, possibly even higher now, you want to get the most out of your computer, you want to get the most performance that you possibly can. So you might not be happy with 65 frames per second. So if we go into the graphics options, go down to DLSS. Now on the right hand side it says for 4K, they recommend performance mode. So we'll set this to performance, apply the setting, give it a second just to sort itself out, see the frames per second shoot up. So now, instead of like 65 to 70 that we were getting before, we're now getting around 110, up to 120 frames per second. And this is at 4K, staying well above 100 frames per second, which is a massive, I mean, that's almost double the frames per second just by enabling one setting within the option. So at 4K, that is well worth trying because that is a massive jump in frames per second. Now, let's change it to 1440p, which is 2560 by 1440. We'll keep the render resolution at 100% just to keep it fair test. So what we'll do now as well is disable DLSS. So now that's with DLSS disabled, so I am now getting around 120 frames per second. That's at 1440p without DLSS enabled. So let's go in and enable DLSS. Now for 1440p, which is 2K resolution, they recommend that you set it to quality. So let's set it to quality, apply the setting, let it just sort itself out. Okay, so that seems to sort of stabilized. So that has now gone up to around 150 and when you're looking looking around this area at the wall it's sort of getting to 160 170 yeah 170 frames per second so that's a good increase from from around 120 frames per second to like 150 peaking up to around 170 frames per second so that's pretty good that's quite a good improvement boost as well and that does feel very smooth to play so now final test let's disable dlss again go back to the resolution change the resolution to 1080p which a lot of you will play on so this is now 1080p with dlss disabled all settings set to default so you probably can't tell on this youtube video but that does look noticeably blurrier to me than 1440p so you can see a drop in quality of the resolution but the frames per second now we're staying pretty solidly around 160 frames per second at the default settings, 160 frames per second. So let's enable DLSS. Now, there is no recommendation for 1080p. I reckon we probably set it to quality, the same as for 2K. So let's set that to quality, apply the setting, and now if you look up in the top left hand corner where I've been looking at the FPS, that has now gone up to 190, occasionally peaking at 200 frames per second. So that does feel very smooth. That, that is very, very responsive, very quick. That has made a big difference in frames per second. So you, you're sort of hovering, that went up to 210 then for a second, 216. So that is giving me around 200 frames per second. So there you go, you can see the difference in, with DLSS enabled or disabled. If you do have an NVIDIA 
GeForce RTX graphics card and you get this option within the Warzone settings within options graphics down near the bottom and post processing effects I would go to this setting and enable it and see what you think but I I think you're gonna get a massive boost in frames per second and it could make a big difference to your game so if you found this video useful please subscribe like and share it with your friends thanks for watching